Welcome back to the Rockin' Roundtable. My name is Matthias. And I'm Shay. Today's reaction is Animosity, live version from The Warning. It's awesome. Been a, it's been a minute since we've had a warning reaction. Yep. So we are due. So this is live from the Teatro Metropolitan. Metropolitan? Yeah. Yeah, theater it's, or something. Yeah, I think um, it's uh, from Mexico City. Yeah, from... Mm. 2022. Oh, wow. Yeah. So a couple of years. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, th their live songs are always good, so I'm pretty excited about this one, even I though I don't know this song specifically, but right. we've seen some of the other songs from this show. Right. So, yeah. okay. Yeah. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video where we will give our reaction, our review, and our rating. Let's roll.
Okay. Animosity. And, uh, no. <laughs> That's not how it's singing. But <laughs> wow, uh, you know their melodies. Yeah. It's like this is just like this. This it's like the song. Their melodies are like yeah, they're supposed to be here. Yeah. Like there's so, there there's a they're supposed to be. You know what I mean? It's like they should be heard. How do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> they should be. They should be like you. They should be heard. Okay. Oh, go yeah. ahead. <laughs> yeah, I mean this song. It, like I said, mm -hmm. I never heard this song before, but I was just thinking when I saw this show how they behave on stage. The sound, obviously, you know, with live music, you never know if they have, you know, they have fixed it afterwards. But doesn't but, doesn't well, matter. With the, we realize they always. I mean, any professional live recording released. Officially, yeah, they have to. It has to go through the mixing board. It has yeah. to. It has to do a little bit of tweaking. Yeah, not like tweakers, but no. like tweaking. <laughs> <laughs> which is fine yeah. because all yeah. of all of the uh, live albums we have listened to since the seventies or whatever it may be, maybe they have been somewhat, you know, massaged, if you will. Well, afterwards. yeah, and then yes, do they have sound a sound team and a soundboard for that live venue? Of course, and that's for the live audience. Mm -hmm. the, for it's that still, to be correctly, yeah. but because it sounds correctly like live in that in that uh, situation, but just be, it doesn't mean it needs to it, it doesn't mean it's going to be actual absolutely perfect in professional recording. You know, yeah. it, it has to be. I, yeah. I would think. Yeah, and I, any a, potential a mistake, whatever may, may be, they may have you know fixed, but it doesn't matter because this is so good. And uh, what I was thinking while I saw this show now with these amazingly talented young women, like if we think about bands like um, Metallica, mm -hmm. uh, Iron Maiden, these arena bands, mm -hmm. I think the warning, they are just below that level now. But when these guys, you know, retire, if, they've, if they ever do. Oh, you mean Metallica and them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the warning is going to be up there. It's going to be one of those arena bands. I mean, in my they opinion, they should, should already be. be. Yeah, yeah, they're working their way. Yeah, there, you know, and and just recently announced that they are supporting Hailstorm and Evanescence for their British Columbia Canadian North American tour. Okay, no, not uh, they they haven't announced anything in the states yet, but it's um, can Canadian. So Canadian is, tour. So. Is it like a co-headlining with all three bands or? It's Evanescence, Hailstorm is opening, and then the Warning opening. So it's. <laughs> Are they both it, opening? Say that again. Start from the beginning. It's Evanescence tour. Oh, it's Evanescence, our headliner. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then Got Hailstorm it. is supporting, and then the Warning as well. Okay. So I would think Understood. the Warning then Hailstorm and Evanescence. Just like when we saw uh, a couple, two years ago, it was Plush. Right. It yeah. It was Plush, Hailstorm. What a great show. Anyway, um, that was. So that was a, the only time and the first time that I got to see Lizzie Hale in the flesh, you know, um, yeah. and just amazing. So as yeah. a whole. So I, I hope they they expand this Canadian tour. I think there's only like nine dates. Okay. For the for the, for the for that country, so they, it spans across everything from Toronto. I I, don't, I think anyway, yeah. all the way to Vancouver. Yeah, it's such a big so, country. So yeah. So, but it'd be great if this. But that's sweep on interesting. Down the yeah. So hopefully they are you know booking as we speak. Yes. For the United States. Yes. Unless they, when is this happening? This fall. This fall. Okay. Yeah. I, th I think yeah. the very end of the summer. So it's like August September. Okay. I, I think. But anyway, I'll put the dates here. But yeah. 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 Hopefully, mm -hmm. we, you know, see some shows here in the states. Like you said, I'm just, I'm just thinking about those. I mean, we love all three bands. Yes. It just feels like the warning should. They all should be co-headlining. <laughs> well, you can't if, do now that, if it yeah. was a Mexican tour, then they would, would have to switch some things yeah. up. So you know, the warning. I think it's the first time. And I don't for sure, but I, I know they're very happy to finally go to can, can, Canada. Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Canada. Yeah. Um, Canada. So um, they're, very, they're just thrilled. Yeah. Um, but, and then, of course, 
you know, Lizzie and uh, Amy are like their besties. So they they love touring together. This is probably the fifth tour, th- fourth or fifth tour they actually have mm-hmm. done. So, yeah. so, um, and they always have a, another, another support band. So it was the warning this time. So anyway. Yeah. I think this will be the last year they are supporting a band like that. I think they will be, it will be switched. <laughs> y- yeah. I mean, I don't yeah. know. I mean, yeah. Who knows, right? Yeah, who knows, yeah. Because, I mean, the warning, they're gaining so much traction and popularity all over the world, not only in in Mexico. Right. Because it's, I mean, they have been from day one, they have been playing, sorry, they have been singing in English. So yes, even though they have a couple of Spanish songs as well. Yes, yes. But um, no, but they're proud of their of where they're from and they should oh, they be. Should they be. should be. Yeah. Um, and, and. Um, everyone knows it, and it's and it's amazing. So yeah. so talented. But see, you know, like I don't know. You you're talking about four bands. I mean, Hailstorm is big. Evanescence is still making their comeback. They're in a Latin American tour right now, finishing up. They just okay. They just, um, and then they're at the Sweden Rock Festival. I think think for the first oh, yeah. time, and they're headlining the right before Judas Priest on the main stage. Yeah. So it's on a and Friday that's, night. That's, that's going to be packed, like 35,000 people yes. standing in front of the main stage. Yeah. Yes. So it's going to be exciting for them and great for them. And that, so that's their summer festival tours that they're going to probably do a few more. Anyway, it'd be a great show to see because we love all three of them. It, it, they're, all, they're all individually different. Like just, you know. Yeah, we're big fans of all three bands. So that's going to be... An exciting tour. Hopefully, like you said, hopefully it happens here in the U.S. Maybe they're just waiting for I don't know different dates. Well, they did. Know? They did tour the states. It was like a year. It was twenty two, two thousand twenty two, I think. Okay, so same year as this. Show yeah, we just saw. Yeah. yeah, we did, and they came to Vegas. Okay, <laughs> wow. And we have some friends, Nikki, and them. They went. Okay, I can't. And believe. I'm like, yeah. Who is this band? The Warning is this? And I got them to. This is a couple of years ago, and I wasn't familiar, and I got them confused with Thunder Mother. Okay. And the one Swedish other female yeah, band. Yeah, one other. There were they, they all kind of anyway. They all were being on my YouTube, you know, <laughs> <laughs> suggestion box. No, um, all the time, and I'm like uh, all these. Uh, all these girl bands, and I love that, but I was like, I was getting confused. Okay, so forgive me for. That. Yeah, I, I'm so bummed because I told you at a previous reaction for the warning that my friend from from back home in Sweden, Johan, he asked me if I wanted to come to LA and see the warning at the whiskey many years ago. And for yes. some reason I couldn't. I can't remember why. But I'm bummed that I didn't because this this is a mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, we listen to this band quite a bit. It's mm-hmm. really a good band. So well, yeah. seeing them from here on, because their new album, we already they already released a few singles from mm-hmm. this new album, and they're amazing. So, it's just going to make this next show, this show, the future shows even better because we know more of the music and the new music. Yeah. So, it, I'm excited for the future, and I'm excited to see them. We will. It's a bucket list. Yeah, it is. It is, and just see them because the energy they have on stage and seems to have so much fun. And you know, the bass player and the, and the guitar player and the drummer. She is absolutely killer. Yes, <laughs> I love it. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, rating. Yeah. Well, okay. So, um, do you want to start, or do you want me to start? I can start. Okay. Uh, Again, first song, first time I heard this song. Uh, I want to give this eight point five Marshall Sacks out of ten. I think that's what I'm going to give it. Oh. Eight point five out of ten Marshall Sacks. Nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I it's it's so good. It's so good. So yeah, it is. Well, that wraps up this video. And uh, if you like our content, please remember to like subscribe it's free hit that notification bell and comment below and let us know what you think about this warning song and let us know what you think is going to happen in the future for the warning are they going to be an arena band because they're very close to that level already oh i think so they're gonna hit it (laughs) they're gonna hit it yeah please share this video with your friends and family and your enemies (laughs) 
frenemies. <laughs> and until next time, we will both catch you on the flip side. <laughs>